Hey everybody, I'm Joey and today I'm back with another chicken wing experiment as we continue our quest to find the crispiest grilled chicken wing recipe available. So follow me and let's turn up the tasty. Okay, so we're back today with another crispy grilled chicken wing experiment. We've done a couple of these already and so we're really building upon our findings. One of the things that we learned in our last video was that our crispiest wings came from a dry rub mixture that included two part seasoning to one part baking powder. And so that's what we're gonna do here. That's gonna be our control group. We've already mixed it up right here in this bowl, but today, instead of using Jojo Rub, we're going to use Rescue Rub by Code 3 Spices. You can find all their spices online at Code3BBQSupply.com. They're great friends of ours, and they make a great product. So we're gonna use it here today. Over here, we're going to mix butter with the same amount of seasoning. So over here, we have uh, one tablespoon of Rescue Rub to a half a tablespoon of baking powder, we're gonna follow with a tablespoon of rub here, and we're also going to use a tablespoon of rub for this batch over here, but instead of butter, we're going to be using olive oil. The reason we're using olive oil and butter mainly is to try different smoke points to see if that has any impact on the crispiness of the wings. This will essentially be our control group. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these seasoned. Sorry, I have something crawling on my leg. All right, over here, these wings are nicely coated with one tablespoon of olive oil. Just to be clear, that is not extra virgin olive oil, which has a lower smoke point than standard olive oil. So just wanted to clear that up. Next, we're gonna add one tablespoon of this rescue rub. All right, next up we have our wings which we covered with butter. I used actually about two tablespoons of butter on this because once I started to pour it in, the wings were cold and the butter began to coagulate. So I added a little bit more butter here just to make sure they were thoroughly coated. Now let's go with the rescue rub. Again, one tablespoon. Okay, and next up right over here, we have our control group. These are totally dry wings. We're just gonna add our mixture of baking powder and rescue rub. Okay, this baking powder right here really lightens up the color of the rub a little bit, so they don't look thoroughly coated, but I've stirred them, and now let's get them on the grill. All right, we got this grill going nice and hot, so now it's time to get the wings on, starting with our control group right over here again. That's the seasoning with uh, the baking powder. Okay, next up, it's time for the group with olive oil and seasoning, and boy, do those look pretty. Take a look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and put them over here. I'm gonna run them a different way so I remember how I uh, put them down on the grill. Okay, and finally we have our group with the butter. You can see that butter still coagulating a little bit. I wanna be honest with you guys about what we're seeing here. So we'll just have to see how it turns out. I mean, some of the wings like this part right here don't look like they have a lot of seasoning on them, but uh, it seems like we have more seasoning in the bowl, but let's give this a shot. All right, so now that we have them on the grill, our traditional look about how we expect them to look, our ones with olive oil look really pretty already. And the ones with butter, well, I, you know, again, it seems like we have some missing spots because of how that butter coagulated, but we'll check back in about 30 to 45 minutes and test the results.
All right, guys, I know I said I'd be back at the end of the cook, but I thought we'd do about a 20 minute check in just to see how they look. And you can see there's really very little distinction in the color. We can see some, oh, I guess I'll call it a naked spot right here from the way that butter coagulated, but they're all looking really good. We're gonna get this back on, let them finish out the, the cook until they get nice and crispy. All right, everybody, so we've already pulled the wings off the grill. They're sitting on the table waiting for the taste test, and I cannot wait. But before we dig in, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about our grill setup here. Um, inside the grill, you'll see we have a piece of equipment. It's called the Vortex. And what this does is it helps get the grill nice and hot. It's not a necessary piece of equipment, but it does help turn up the temperature on your Weber kettle as those wings cook. And what it does is it really allows your kettle to act more like an air fryer. Uh, as it brings the heat up around the dome and circulates it across the food. But there's one key distinction between an air fryer and this, and that's that awesome smoky flavor. So I just wanted everyone at home to know exactly the type of setup we were using. So if you wanted to, you could recreate this experiment right in your own backyard. Now, it's time to get some wings. All right, so these wings are done cooking. They took about 45 minutes and uh, three beers to get done. While those were cooking, we actually started up our charcoal chimney right back there and cook a steak directly over it. We're gonna share that in another video. Um, but here we have our finished product and they're lined up in the exact same order that they were prior to cooking. Namely, we have our olive oil over here, we have our butter here, and we have our seasoning with baking powder right over here. So it's time for my favorite part. Let's dig in and see which method created the crispiest wings. Now, we've had this, this is really our control. Um, so we kind of know what to expect here. We know we're gonna get a crispy wing, but let's dig right in. Oh, you can hear the crispiness as it pulls apart. This is just a great wing. I don't know if my microphone just picked that up, but you can really hear that crispy crunchiness of that skin as I bite right through it. It's a great wing. Could eat these all day long. Next up, we're gonna come right over here. These are our wings, which were covered with butter and then seasoning. Let's see how they taste. Oh wow, they sound crispy for sure. Look at that color. It has that golden brown color that you see with roasted chicken when you put it in the oven. Let's see how it tastes. Wow, that's a crispy wing. Again, I don't know if the mic just picked that up but you can really taste that crunch as you bite through that skin. I would say it's just as crispy, maybe even crispier than our control group. And we know that this wing beat out other wings when it comes to crispy grilled chicken wings. Other recipes, those are available on our channel if you wanna check those out. But I have to say, I'm really surprised by this butter. Candidly, going into it, I thought it would probably be the worst. Um, I think that there are some advantages and disadvantages I see right away. First of all, I have had people say to me that they are, have a sensitivity to the taste of baking powder. Personally, I don't. I don't notice any difference when it's in there. So that, that could be one reason why you'd wanna go with the butter. The downside to the butter, I think, is that it coagulates and made it harder to season, as we showed you in the beginning of the video. But now, let's dig into these ones that are covered in olive oil. Well, they don't sound as crispy, just breaking them apart, but let's see how they taste. It's a crispy wing. It's a good wing. It's a very good wing. If I had to make one observation about this, it's almost like the skin itself tasted a little thinner than the skin did on the other two, but that didn't result in additional crispiness. So I think if I were gonna make these again, I would not go with the olive oil. Again, it was a good wing, but not the crispiest of these wings. I will be trying this butter recipe again though. This is absolutely phenomenal. I had never tried uh, butter or olive oil prior to this experiment, so I'm really surprised. The reason that I chose the different oils uh, is because of the various smoke points. Butter has a very low smoke point, where olive oil has a higher smoke point. So look, I'm not a scientist, I just know what tastes good, and uh, these ones covered in butter really, really knocked my socks off. But give it a try at home for yourself, 
and let us know how it turns out in the comments below. And if you like this video, you know the drill. Go ahead and hit that big thumbs up like button, or even better, subscribe to our channel. We release a new video every week, lots of fun experiments, and many different ways of cooking meat made easy. I'll see you guys next time. Salud.